In this video, we will discuss about types of speed and velocity. The first one, types of speed. There are four types of speed. Uniform speed, that is constant speed. So, the object in motion will cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. Second is variable speed, that is distance covered changes with the time. Third one, average speed, it is calculated as total distance upon total time. And the final one, instantaneous speed, it is the speed that you calculate at a given time. We will now consider an example to understand the types of speed in detail. The first one, uniform speed. So, any object that covers equal distances in equal intervals of time is said to be having uniform speed. Second one, non-uniform speed. So, any object that covers unequal distances in given interval of time is called as non-uniform speed or variable speed. The third one is the average speed for any object moving with variable speed. Let us say it has covered a distance S in time interval T. So, average speed by definition will be calculated as total distance upon total time that will be S upon T. The final type of speed is instantaneous speed. So, any object may be moving with variable speed but I am interested in a particular position speed at this given instant. So, out of the total distance we will consider only the distance covered at this particular point let us say it is delta s in time delta t hence instantaneous speed will be given by limit delta t tends to 0 delta s upon delta t that is also denoted by ds by dt. Next is the types of velocity first one uniform velocity that is equal displacement in equal intervals of time. So, along with magnitude, the direction must remain constant as well because velocity is a vector quantity. Second is variable velocity. Second is variable velocity that is displacement and or direction changes with the time. So, either magnitude can change direction can change or both of them can change and such a velocity can be called as variable velocity or non-uniform velocity. Third one is average velocity. It is calculated as total displacement upon total time taken. The final one is instantaneous velocity. It is calculated as limit delta t tends to 0 delta s upon delta t. We calculate instantaneous velocity when we are interested in magnitude and direction at a given instant of time. Now we shall discuss the types of velocities using an example. The first one uniform velocity. So any object that moves with constant magnitude and constant direction is said to have uniform velocity. Second one, non-uniform velocity or as we know it, variable velocity. So, any object that does not have constant magnitude or constant direction is said to have non-uniform velocity. The third one, average velocity. So, for any object moving with variable velocity, let this be the initial position, this be the final position after moving along straight line. 
and changing the direction by 90 degrees. So, the total displacement will be denoted by S in total time T. So, average velocity will be calculated as total displacement upon total time that will be vector of displacement denoted by S upon T. You have to keep in mind that you will not consider the other distances travelled and only find the distance between initial and final position. The final type of velocity, instantaneous velocity, for any object moving with variable velocity, I am interested in finding its velocity at this given instant. So, out of the total displacement, we will consider the displacement at this position, let it be delta s, covered in time delta t. So, instantaneous velocity will be given by limit delta t tends to 0 delta s upon delta t also represented by ds by dt. Also keep in mind that for uniform motion, constant speed will be equal to average speed will be equal to instantaneous speed as for the entire motion the speed has one constant value. The same applies to velocity. Constant velocity value will be equal to average velocity. Its value will also be equal to instantaneous velocity. Keeping in mind the previously discussed concepts, let us solve an example. A person walks along a circular path of radius 50 meter at constant pace. Constant pace here itself means constant speed. He completes one circle in 10 minutes. After 5 minutes, what is the distance covered? Magnitude of displacement, average speed, magnitude of average velocity and magnitude of instantaneous velocity. Now keep that in mind that here your t value is 5 minutes and the person is moving at a constant pace that is constant speed. So draw this diagram. Here it is given that he completes one circle in 10 minutes. So if he starts from A, he comes back to A in 10 minutes. So in 5 minutes he will reach to the diametrically opposite end at point B. The first thing, distance covered, distance covered in 5 minutes. So, distance covered will be the actual path length of the semicircle. That will be equals to pi r. Since the radius is given as 50 meters, so that will be 50 pi. You can simplify it into decimals if you want. Displacement will be the length of diameter. So, that will be 2R. See, displacement is calculated as the distance between initial and final position. So, that will be 100 meter. Average speed, that will be total distance upon total time. So, total distance here is 50 pi and total time is 5 minute. Convert that into seconds and simplifying we get pi by 6 meter per second. The next one, magnitude of average velocity. So, that will be total displacement upon total time. So, total displacement is 100 meter. Total time again taken here is 5 minutes itself. So, converting into seconds and simplifying, we get it as 1 by 3 meter per second. The last one, Magnitude of instantaneous velocity, now that will be same as instantaneous speed as the person is walking with uniform speed, so which is same as the average speed, that will be equals to pi by 6 meter per second. Answer the same question for the duration of 10 minutes and leave your answers in the comments.